Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. I'm here in the reflection of my X-T2 today. If you want to follow along in today's lesson, please do so, whether you have an X-T1, X-T3, X-T2, X-E, whatever. You're probably going to have these functions on your camera. If you've ever taken a picture like this with your autofocusing and thought that was way too easy, there's ways to complicate things for yourself. Let's go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> take your camera and move your ticker over to manually focusing. Now we can adjust manual focusing by moving this ring counterclockwise or clockwise. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on something in front of us, which is a fragrance bottle. It has some fine writing on the label, which we'll know uh, if we're in focus or not simply by using our naked eye. Okay, looks pretty good, right? Take the shot. Press play here to view your image. And uh, I can see that I am not exactly in focus here. It looks okay, but it will look even worse on the computer screen when it's all zoomed in, right? I can clearly see that I missed the shot completely. So how can we improve this? I need help when manual focusing. I need assistance. So please, XT2, assist me with something called MF Assist. Press menu with your right thumb. Okay, look what just happened here. I'm in this menu, wrong menu. When I press menu in live view versus the actual picture, it takes me to two different places, okay? So look at my hand, I'm in live view now. Now I press menu, I'm glad that happened. Okay, I meant that to happen, I should say. <laughs> I did not. Anyway, now I'm in the actual menu because I went from live view, correct? Everyone with me? Good. Press the left arrow. Now I can navigate this column here by going up and down. Go to AFMF, stands for autofocus, manual focus menu. Press the right arrow and go down to the next screen till you get to MF Assist. Most likely it will say STD here, which stands for standard or digital split image or focus peak highlighting. We're gonna be focusing on focus peak highlight today. Press the right arrow and you can choose between a variety of colors white, red, or blue. Now, I choose red because I think it's the most contrasty of the colors. There's gonna be some instances where you wanna choose a different color. However, I recommend using the high versus the low for obvious reasons. Press the left arrow. You've now chosen red high. Great. Now press the shutter button halfway, and now we're back in live view, ready to take the shot. Looks like nothing's changed, right? but go ahead and move your focusing ring to get this thing in focus. Watch what happens. Wow. What it's doing is the focus peak is highlighting some of the details here to a bright red. Now you really know it's in focus. Yes, you could do it without it. Yes, you can use your naked eye. The MF Assist helped me by glowing red with focus peak highlighting. Very cool, right? Press play. And you can see here, the red is now gone because this is the actual picture. It's just a highlighting technique and it's not there in the actual picture, of course. Half press the shutter button, press menu, and go to MF Assist again. Notice how it goes to where we once left off. Press the right arrow, press the right arrow again to change the red to blue high. Perhaps your subject is red. Perhaps you're in a red background or perhaps red is just hard for you to see for whatever health reasons you have. Press the left arrow to select it and half press the shutter button like so. Now you're back in live view. Watch me move the focusing ring back and forth, back and forth. Do you see the blue come in and out? It's actually glowing pretty bright at this point. And you can use the EVF here or the screen itself. Take that shot press play, and you have a beautifully focused shot, manually focused with a little bit of help. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's take it one step further. Let's say I really wanna make sure it's in focus in my test shot before I really get going. Press the rear command dial, press down, and you can see it zooms in really close, right? This is the actual photo, and you can see the label has holes in it, the texture of the label, and the font itself looks pretty good to me. Now you can actually rotate the rear command dial to zoom back out and see what it looks like if you're to crop in. 
you can actually use directional arrows too to kind of adjust just to get a good look to see if you got the shot in focus or not. Most likely it will be because you use focus peak highlighting MF assist. Half press the shutter button. If you like this view, which I do, I think it's fine. It fills up the whole, sc whole screen. Press display back button once. Now look at the menu, um, all the details. Um, they are actually all gone. So if you like this cleaner look, go ahead and use that. Press it one more time, it goes to an informational screen. Press it for the third time, and it goes to this split screen that I want to bring your attention to. You can use this split screen because um, one of it is dedicated to being really close up here. So the best of both worlds, right? You can go ahead and use your focusing ring, and you'll see here if it's bright red, and you'll get this view as well. Why does this really pay off? When you're looking through the EVF, it fills your eye with this room of split screen goodness and glowing blue or red highlights, really ensuring you that your image is in tech focusedness, if that's a word. Okay, if you like that, great. If you don't like it, uh, go ahead and press uh, display back again, and it goes back to where you first started at the beginning of this video. I hope this video helps you with manual focusing in a way that it gives you confidence that you won't just miss every shot when using manual focus. There are assisting modes in your camera, such as this one, which I think is the best one to use. So go ahead and go out there and just experiment. Okay? Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.